There's two other rules I want to, for this, the work that we're going to do today. There's two things that are going to be important. That's a review for you. First one is two rules of exponents. Now, there's a lot of rules of exponents. But there's two rules of exponents that are going to be really important in our understanding today. The first rule of exponent is what we call the power, or I'm sorry, the product rule. And in Algebra 1, if you guys remember the product rule, what that states is if you have an exponent times another exponent, you add the powers as long as the base is the same. So if I had x to the a times x to the b, that equals x to the, I'm about to sneeze, x plus b. I held it off. Is everybody OK? The next one is the power rule. It's OK. I'll move. What the power rule states is if you have an exponent, x to the a, raised to a power, then you multiply the powers. x to the a times b. Does everybody see that? OK, now there's other two more rules. Um, these are the rules of radicals. Oh, I didn't write radicals. I wrote exponents again. Now, there's many rules of exponents. These are just the rules that we're going to talk about today. So the rules of radicals, the two that I want to discuss with you today is if I have the product of two terms, x times y, then what I can do is I can break that apart into, uh, let's call this the nth root, the nth root of x times the nth root of y. So if you have a root of a product, you can break apart those products. All right. In similar fashion, if you have the root of a quotient, you can break that apart by taking the root of your numerator and your denominator. Does anybody want me to prove to you or show you that those rules work? Or do you guys just want to believe 